A dog doesn't know how to lie to you. A dog doesn't know how to be fake. It is what it is. Murder Mook said that he seen you battle a dude on Linux oh, Avenue. Oh shit, the best story. <laughs> and he said that you trained your dog to do ad libs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is this a myth? <laughs> Definitely an urban legend. Urban legend. Is, yeah. is it an urban legend? Urban legend like a Because, bro, I, listen, I'm not going to lie, X. He said that the dog comes up and says, it says, and you're like, it says, and you say, tell ma, and he said, tell ma, let's get him. Where's it? But did you do that? I'm telling you, I can't think Murder Mook brought I've this never, up. I've never done that. He could have made that up. Like, maybe it was dog, something that maybe, happened. Maybe I was already rapping, the dog growled, I was like, just, just, and but he thought it was part of rhyme. Oh, <laughs> okay. And I, because I went, you okay, I went back to the rhyme so smoothly, he okay. thought it was part of it. He like, okay. oh, okay. shit. Okay, but, right. nah, that makes Did sense. you see the headlines when that came out? Because nah. it was on Drink Chance. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a big <laughs> thing. <laughs> where, yeah, wow. all over the internet, Murder Book sat the same shit. He said, yo, I see DMX have his dog a part of this shit. And I, because as soon as he said it, he said, I see DMX have the most legendary battle. And I stopped him immediately. I said, was a dog involved? And he said yes, and then he gives me this story. So, I, but you saw the DMX battle with me. I'm gonna give you a story, man. Yeah, let's go, chill. Let's go. Yeah. All right? Exclusive. I'm, 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 I'm unbuttoning this shit. It's all. Listen, up, listen. Man. so I didn't I, like DMX real shit. I watched DMX. Shout out to my man Den Ten. Mm. Right? Ah, shout out to Den Ten. Yeah, Den Ten. Growing up from Harlem, we was running around. Right. DMX, he he lived in around our hood, like. They have uh, put him, put him like in his bed in the cup, you know, chill yeah. out for. Did he have dogs? He had his dog, okay. right? Boom, Continue. right? So he battling on the corner now, mind you, battling all the niggas around me, right? Oh no, he battled then? He battled then on the block, on the 121st, right? 7th Avenue. Mm -hmm. I, see, I don't even understand how classic that is, but get right? it. Right? <clears throat> he battled him, and the nigga, he did some shit like, uh, um, oh, so the right dude. Huh? That's just all I remember. Just, the phones didn't like you. Some phones didn't like you. Be careful. Text with my dog. She might bite you. And then the dog, he go. And then the dog go. Arr, arr. It's like, Shit. no, no, no. Then the dog, no. He said the dog, she might bite you. Something with him. And then the dog growled. He's like, he's like, chill, ma. Let me get him. And then he go, That could have happened. But it wasn't planned. There you go. Holy moly go. guacamole. That's even error. That's even error. That's even error. Yeah. Kept a dog with me. I yeah. kept a dog with me. Kept yeah. a dog with me, man. I love dogs. I like dogs more than people. You love dogs more than people? More than people. Uh, need, can you break that down for us? A dog doesn't know how to lie to you. A dog doesn't know how to be fake. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you shit, he's going to be, eh, well, well, like, like. But you could catch a dog taking a shit. Hit him with the newspaper, and then somebody knock on the door. And they go like, pause and ass whooping. Let's address this situation. Right. And we're ready, <laughs> be ready to kill for you yeah. right after you whooped his ass. Right. That's unconditional love. It's unconditional love, yo. It's very true. And let me just say that something. For those, for those people that don't know, DMS is really a dog whisperer. Right. He had my little dog. <laughs> uh, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was a pit bull one day. He was like, my dog is the size of a mic. <laughs> and that's it. So how did you develop your, your love for dogs? Because was that like? I used to steal dogs. Wow. I used to, like, like, I mean, statue of limitations. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, you know, the, young little nigga too. You know what I mean? Gain the dog's confidence. You know what I'm saying? Pet him. Because like I said, you, you get friendship. Wow. And then I don't know if I told you this. The one time when I stole a dog. Huge pit bull, massive head, and I got in the house about maybe five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, and you know the project's got the linoleum floors, mm -hmm. and they got the dog with the belt and collar, like, mm -hmm. and scratching the floor. I was like, get that motherfucker out of here! Like, wow, it took me like 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 three, four hours to steal this motherfucker. <laughs> like, like, I'm not just gonna give him away. Like, you serious? You mean like that's the whole diamond, nigga? Right. Right. <laughs> and um, he's like, get him out of here now! I'm like, all right. I went in the refrigerator to two hot, uh, freezer, two hot dogs. We went up to the roof. And you know how on the top of the roof is that extra structure that leads to the elevator shaft. You know what I'm saying? That okay. little tiny building that's on top of the roof. Okay. So I tied him to the step. I sat there with him. I had him on my lap. You know what I'm saying? Gave him a hot dog. I had a hot dog. 
fell asleep. You know what I mean? Me and this man woke me up, tapped my foot. So yo, I gotta get to the elevator. I'm like, Whoops. he said, your dog won't let me by. <laughs> oh wow. I'm like, wow. He woke up while all you were sleeping. All I did was kept it real with this nigga. You know what I mean? Right. Gave him half what I had right. and stayed there. You know what I mean? Because he, he laid his hand on my lap. You know you're mean? saying that's the your first time you developed a love for a dog. That was dope. That's when I knew it was like, fuck people. Give wow. me a dog. The loyalty's different. Nah, I don't even know dog's name. I named him uh, Bully, some shit like that. Like, yeah, I just stole him, so I obviously didn't know his name. <laughs> and, uh, New friendships. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was, he, he was a good dog, man. So you I, see- I ended up bringing him back. Wow. Yep, I brought him back. To the people. Dude. Yep. Oh, wow. So, yo, I seen him walking down the street. Like, I'm like, not you this one. You tell him I stole you I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm not giving this, I'm not letting this dog go. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. How about, how, what's your relationship with cats? Don't like cats. <laughs> That's a good question. Don't like cats at all. Don't like, I just said the verse, you know what I'm saying? Um, something, something over. Cats to play in the street, get ran over. <laughs> you know I mean? Have you ever had a cat or been in a cat's vicinity? Yes. When I first met my, uh, my, my, a girl turned to be my wife. The first with the year, she had a cat, but I had a dog. So I was like, they don't get along. Some gonna get. And what happened was, she was at work one day, and the dog chased the motherfucking cat into the closet. <laughs> and he all type of shit falling, the boxes yeah. moving around, yeah. and, yeah. and oh, I called her job. She was at, she used to have a job in New York. I called her, say, yo, you just told you just told the sheriff that that Britney's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the cat ain't Britney. Holy moly, wow. Yo, she said she came back from the bathroom or something, and the whole office was looking at her crazy. The man was like, Would you step in here for a minute? And he's like, Yo, um. You didn't say it was a cat, they don't know. No, I didn't say it was a cat. Oh, the office thing was a body in the I mean, it's the truth. Yeah. Like, yo, it's like, um, Do you know Brittany? She was like, Yeah. I was like, Yo, Brittany's dead. Wow. She's like, She caught us, and she said she was about to say, My cat? Right. But she caught us, like, uh, oh, okay. Came home early, everything. Right. She's like, nigga. Uh, like, yeah, I got you. I got you. Now, is it just dogs or you got love for animals too? I, I like. You want to say alpacas and shit? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe dogs. giraffes. I don't know. Dogs. Dogs. Dogs, that's it. Dogs. Because dogs are a certain way. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you know, they be going all day. So you walk in the house, they miss you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They miss you more than anybody in the house. Right. You know? And yeah, they just, they show it. And they're they great riding partners. Right. Front seat, head out the window. Right. Had a dog X one time. I was with this nigga girl, but I wasn't fucking with her. And she was a friend. She was like a little homie. You know what I'm saying? So I got out of her. I said, yo, I'm going to talking about a person, legs. not a dog, right? Just a person, a girl. Okay. No, I don't know. I got my dog with me. I'm starting to get confused. But I, I got the girl, too. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, like I just it. seen a baby father. He, he had some raggedy ass studio. I'm like, I gave my number, all that. Boom. Go pick her up. And, um... She called and he's like, yo, my ex, I'm getting um, crab legs. Da, da, da. I was doing crab legs back then. Crab that's legs, South Carolina. Let's go. And they go on the phone, what the fuck? What the fuck are you trying to fuck them? It's like, whoa, this nigga, I just seen him 20 minutes ago. Right. What type of nigga what do you think I am? I mean, to see you and then try to fuck your girl, like, like, like 20 minutes later, like, I thought that would help. Country nigga didn't help. I mean, pull up with the guys. I said, yo, we're gonna pull up right here. Like, let me get to the bottom of this shit, man. I'm right. like, I have a nigga talking crazy like that. I'm not that nigga. You know what I mean? Right. And, he came out. I'm like, yo, homie, you bugging? And he's like, yo, nigga, you trying to fuck up? My dog jumped out the window, came around, got him. I'm like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you ain't see that one coming. Dude. <laughs> you ain't see that one coming. <laughs> you ain't see that one coming. <laughs> well, we fucked that nigga up together. <laughs> we fucked him up together. Yeah, yeah you bitch ass nigga. That's what you get for thinking I'm a fuck nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. Your wife is like my sister, nigga. Fuck out of here. So I look at that. I ain't gonna go. I want that shot. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Lee, where you at? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that he was having a drink. I'm like, this is my, I'm a shot. This is it my looks drink. like this a drink. Shot. This is my drink. This is my I got a shot that looks like a fucking drink. <laughs> now, also, wow. you're also the guy who put me on, you can put me a little bit more than that. Yeah, 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 you can give me a little more than that. Not that. You're also the guy who put me on to Hennessy Paradise. One night we were at the Nico Hotel. That was from the movie. That was from the movie. Salo, they gave me a whole bunch of it. Salo. No, no. We were at the bar this time. I'm going to tell you. I mean, that's what I, I learned about it. That's what I'm saying. We're at the bar with you at the Negro <laughs> Hotel. you like, yeah, listen, <laughs> you drink Henny, right, Norman? I'm like, yeah. You sure it wasn't the Rashad? The Rashad Henny? I know, bro. I know exactly who this was. Okay. And you came, this is, it was the Source Awards weekend. Oh, okay. And you was, I you know, I walked in, you, this is 98. You the man. You, Eve, y'all, it's, it's, I, I think yeah. it's like a rough ride to get together. But it's like, Y'all just got the whole lobby. Smashed. We had so much fun. And I walked over there. He said, Come have a drink with me, Nori. 
We had three shots of the Hennessy Paradise, and then they gave you the bill, and it was like eight hundred dollars. I said, "What the hey, fuck did we just drink?" <laughs> <laughs> it's one hundred and fifty dollars a shot. That's why I said this nigga is ill. He's like. Get on bougie. <laughs> I just, you know what I mean? I wanted to try it while I could. Why? Because if anything would ever happen right. and I wouldn't be able to try it, yeah. I'd kick myself in the ass like, nigga, you had yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, nah, that's, why, that's why I think I fucked as many bitches as I could. You know what I'm saying? Damn, like, it's, 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 I was like, yo, like, like, I got the opportunity. Show you trying to, show you trying to give it to a nigga. This bitch is super bad. Like, all right, cause. You know, it wasn't the best decision being married, but um, um, you know, it, it just what it was. Just what it was. I went for a, a, a grimy robbery nigga from Yonkers, mm-hmm. and we all of a sudden, oh, you cute, you handsome, like, and you're my baby daddy, and uh-huh. horny too. You you, you a horny yeah. nigga. I gotta admit that. I gotta, you gotta admit that as a horny nigga, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, my wife is a trooper. My wife is a trooper. I want to you know, just give a shout out to my wife. My ex-wife, Cheryl, she's a trooper. And she, and she held on to a lot, and we're still good friends. Goddamn. You know what's crazy? Yeah. Yeah.